is a very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on TikTok just for you. This is the big one, the one everyone is talking about, the one everyone is watching. If you're scrolling through, then you can stop now because you've got Scotty McClue. You've arrived at your destination. You have got the world stop broadcaster and the first lord of the internet live here on TikTok just for you, dinky doo. Welcome, 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 I say. It's Thursday night. See, nothing gets past me. And uh, we've got a lot to get through tonight and so little time to do it in. So the best thing you can do is tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClure has popped up just for you, dinky do. And a very warm welcome to our TikTok live. Excellent stuff. Now, as always, there's so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. We seem to be having less and less time the busier and busier we get. Everybody seems to be watching Scotty McClue live on TikTok. And of course, it's very important that you keep telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 and get the word round there. BWD says, I am back. BWD, we are delighted that you are back. Absolutely. Hello, matey, says Jack. Hello, matey, to Jack. Dinky Doo says Daniel. Daniel, lovely to have you with us and welcome from Sheffield, from the Seven Hills there. Amazing stuff. You managed to find us. Thank you, says BWD. No, not at all, BWD. Thank you for your time and for your energy and for your input and for your interesting feedback. Marvelous stuff, that is. So a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's live TikTok just for you, Dinky Doo. First Lord of the Internet, World Star broadcaster and the world's most humble man. Now then, who have we got here? Dinky do. Uh, are you a Tory? What is a Tory? T-O-R-R-I-E. We're wondering about that. Very, very strange. Now there we go. Can we get among the borough? Dinky do. Is it not the borough? Are you talking about Middlesbrough here? That would be the borough. There we are. Hello, Scotty. How are you? Luxury cars. Welcome, welcome. It's always lovely to see you. And uh, it adds just a bit of quality to TikTok's top talk show. Fantastic stuff. So there we go. Now, uh, Jack, I think you should go because you're in the wrong place altogether. So there's we, Jack Ginge. Jack Ginge away, doing the swanny right away, talking a lot of nonsense. Absolutely. There we go. Remember, if you are um, a little troll, you will very quickly just be toasted on here and you will have gone. All right. So very important. You get that right. I say to you, dinky do, And uh, off we jolly well go. Who else have I got here? Fantastic. Excellent stuff. There we are. Now then, uh, who have we got here? Uh, lots and lots of you following. Thank you about that. How are you feeling today, my good fellow? Oh, hold on. We are feeling absolutely amazing there we are kevin is a troll scotty kevin has gone he's bye bye he's toast good evening bwd lovely to have you with us and did you do i love the accent says user i love your accent says user that's even more amazing guys if you're scrolling through then stop here this is where it all happens on tiktok what's your favorite county scotty county Oh, I think Perthshire, Argyle. Um, what else have we got for favourite county? Ross and Cromarty, we like that. Angus, yes, we like that. Oh, all sorts of favourite counties. Scotty MJ here from Era. Era, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. What's your favourite food, says Blaine? All food is my favourite, Blaine. Uh, what do you think of the Palestine Israel conflict? They need to stop it. Two beautiful countries full of beautiful people who cannot get their act together and I was not impressed by the leadership either I have to say so everything needs to come right down there dinky do says Ryan dinky do Ryan so that is fantastic free Palestine Scotty yes and free Israel as well you know I mean we mustn't show favoritism to one or the other we need the two of them to get round the table stop fighting stop 
fighting. Yes, very important. Jerusalem, if I remember rightly, 20% Palestinian Arabs in Jerusalem. There we go. So we need to just stop to The British, of course, were in Palestine, and the British used to get criticized for occupying. But in actual fact, I think things were, were never better than when the British were in Palestine. There we are. All right. I've had a good day. Any decent kebab shops in Scotland? All of them, Nathan. I've never seen a bad kebab shop in Scotland yet. So there we go. Lovely to have this. Mm. Oh, fantastic. We love it. Curry or Chinese? Yes, both Chinese curry. Very nice, Mav. So there we are. Quite like a Chinese chicken curry. Uh, so that would be that sorted in the one shop. You see what I mean? E everything sorted out right away. Guys, if you're just joining us, can you follow me, please? We are desperately, desperately short on followers and huge on viewers. Massive Massive viewing to Scotty McClure's TikTok, and yet only, I think, what have we got, followers? 11,500 or something. Very strange. Good evening. Good evening, Jake. Lovely to have you with us. Is everybody watching followed? Everyone on TikTok, everyone with a TikTok account should be following Scotty McClue. Love you, lad. I think you do. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. What's up? Good evening from France. Bonsoir. Je regrette que je ne parle pas français très vite, Alexandre. But, uh, mais si tu parles lentement, peut-être je comprends, oui. Excellent like. Do you like jambon beurre? Do I like ham butter? Uh, yes, I've never actually tasted ham butter. Is that a, a certain flavor in France? Yo, Scotty, what's up? Uh, I think you mean um, le sandwich, uh, jambon et beurre. Uh, good evening from Italy, I see. Uh, but it's not just, but it's not just. Si, si. Bella, bella, bellissimo, Luis. Howdy from the US, says Peyton. Peyton, howdy back from the UK. Hi, Scotty, I'm your biggest fan. Ellie, I think you probably are. I'm from Ireland. Up, Ireland. Oh, yes. Well, we're all Irish, you see. So never a problem. We're all originally African. Uh, jean Beurre is a Parisian sandwich. A delish. <laughs> Very delish, good, excellent. So ham and butter on a sandwich in Paris. I have had it during Le 14 juillet. Fantastic. Hi from South Africa. Lovely to have you with us from South Africa. What is going on the Bray tonight? Do tell me. Good evening from England, Liverpool. We love the bones of your BWD. That's fantastic to have you on from Liverpool. Good for you. You'll get a lot of laughs on here. No doubt about it. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. As I say, very short on followers. Very, very big on viewers. Now, can you also uh, volunteer somebody to go and like all Scotty McClue's TikTok videos. You tap my picture in the top left-hand corner and all the videos will come up. Fat like the day, Blair, or fat like Fujou Doos. What's your opinion on religion, Scotty, says Terry? Um, I think religion is fantastic. It has never, ever, ever caused a problem. What causes the problem is a lack of knowledge and understanding, you see. Thanks, your accents are beautiful. Thank you, BWD. So there we are. Hello from Wales. Ah, yucky da. Yes, and nos da from Wales. We love it. Uh, thoughts on BLM. Well, we don't have any thoughts on BLM because we're all inclusive on here. So, you know, everything gets properly supported. So there you go. Uh, excellent stuff. Now, uh, if you can uh, put some interesting points, guys. Remember, if you're a troll, you'll only last seconds and then gone. Woo! Doing the sorry, I say. I'm very sorry. I have to leave. BWD, lovely that you are here. A good dinky do to you. Thanks for joining us. Have a lovely evening, and we'll see you soon. Ta -ra la! Uh, there we are. BWD's leaving us, guys. Can we say good night to BWD? Give us a Birmingham accent, Scotty. 
Oh, Terry, I don't know if I can do Birmingham. You're incredible, mate. I thank you, linked boxer. A thank you do to you, says BWD. Got it, Scotty. The Ackies are down. Oh, we're all gutted. Uh, so there we are. Thank you do to you. Uh, thank you. Yes, indeed. And good night and God bless BWD. Now, um, is the football on tonight, guys? When does it finish? We don't want to clash, you know. We don't want people saying, I'd rather watch Scotty McClure than the football. I'll tell you that. Hello, says Jessica. Jessica, lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. A very warm welcome from Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on TikTok. That's the big one. The one everyone's talking about, the one everyone's listening to. Ryan says, that's some accent. I don't think I've really got an accent, Ryan. I think it's just the way I speak. Scotty, I think you're absolutely bonkers. I love watching you, brother. Thank you. Very kind of you. Are you Muslim? Well, I'm everything, you know. And uh, Eid Mubarak to you. How do you know so many different languages? Well, I suspect, sir, if you are who you say you are, and I've no reason to doubt you, Milank, I would say that you will know many, many languages as well. And I would say to you, Privet. Yes, fantastic. And uh, as I say, if you are who you say you are, then you are very, very, very welcome on here. It is so lovely to have you, such a distinguished gentleman and such a man filled from the tip of his toes to the top of his head with common sense. Uh, Man United v Liverpool oh so not many will be watching that I shouldn't think you I would imagine Scotty McClue has got the market tonight so there we go but always popular Manchester Liverpool they like a good little scrap on the pitch don't they all right Scotty dinky do superb voice says Calvin Football finishes at 10 p.m. Right, we might pop up after 10 as well. Now, Toby, Toby, you can do better than that. Now, I know you go around people's lives asking them if they work in a supermarket because that's the only thing you think you can ask. Now, I can either ban you for life or I can have you on here and you grow up, you take your head out of your backside where it's been for a long time, you think of something intelligent to say, and you do that on here, and you become one of the trolls who converts to an avid viewer. So think about that, Toby. Okay, you go and have a wee thing. I won't ban you just now. Uh, Palestine or Israel? Well, it's not one or the other, Harris. They both go together. Yes, like a horse and carriage. Love and manage, and uh, they should not, 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 I repeat not, be fighting, you know? Ridiculous piece of nonsense. And if Scotty McClure was out there, we'd be sitting round the table, and if one rocket went off from one side or the other, there would be very serious consequences. Standing in the corner, wearing a dunce's cap, why are you killing children and innocent people? There we are. Sha ha 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 ha. Says Scotty, you seem a very clever man. Where do you gather your extensive knowledge? Well, you see, Sha ha 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 ha. I was broadcasting on television and radio mainstream top market uh, 36 years, long before there was the internet. So I had to get all my knowledge from books, from news streams, from individuals, interviewing top people. Excuse me a second, we comfort break here. Coming up. Oh, that's better. It's just suddenly gone quite warm in the studio with the lighting. So I had to have all my knowledge to hand, you see. So I don't know about clever. I just know a lot of things about a lot of things. I was being called an idiot today on another platform because I was explaining to the Scots that uh, the Queen was the head of state in Scotland and that if there was independence, the Queen would be coming with us. Then you get all the halfwits going, I'm monarch is outdated and the cost of it and of course none of that is true at all so there we are and one guy got really quite heated he was going oh you idiot and i can't believe an adult saying this and of course he didn't understand anything about how the state works 
Tot, tot, totity, tot. Big up, Scotty, says I'm Dean. Andrew, thoughts on the Scottish family party? I just, I heard something about them, Paul, and then they just kind of disappeared <coughs> into the background of all the, the noise of the SNP cleaning up. So I, I, I didn't hear any more about them. I don't know what's going on there. So I don't really have any thoughts on them. You know, hey, did you do, Scotty? What's your thoughts on the conflict going on in Israel just now? Jerry, they need to stop it. Stop it right now. You know, and, I, and I'm not impressed with the leadership, you know. What countries have you been to, Scotty? Well, tell you, I'm not terribly well-traveled worldwide. Very, 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 very well-traveled in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Soon, perhaps, to be four separate countries. But um, I've been to Holland, to France, to Germany, to Austria, to, um, to Greece, to Crete. Uh, where else have I been to Portugal? Um, have I been to... No, I haven't been to Spain. Um, where else have I been? Ireland, of course, I know every blade of grass. All these kind of things, you know, but I'm not terribly well-traveled worldwide. I need to go to India, to Africa, to Canada, to America, to Australia, to New Zealand to South Africa, <coughs> to Kenya, custard creams or board bombs, both. Now, if you scroll through the TikTok lives, you'll see Scotty McClue eating a biscuit. I think 1,200 people have watched it. So there we are. Have a look at that. See what you think. <coughs> it's Blair here. Ah, Blair, dinky-doo. Hello, Scotty, from the Pharaohs in Iceland bound tomorrow. We love the Pharaohs. We send hello to the Pharaohs. <laughs> Indeed, sir. Thank you very much. Now then, who have we got here? Hello, Blair. Great show, Scotty. Thank you, Marty. I'm very, very glad you've discovered us. Can everybody share the show? Let's get going here. Scotty, you know you can have guest hosts. Yes, but I want to know who I'm having on. Very, very important. <clears throat> I'm going because I'm on FIFA. Uh, so there we are. Right, Gravy, you get sorted with that. Wonderful stuff. Thank you for your kind words. I am from Slovenia in the Balkans, and you're quite a star over here. And uh, tell me this, Milan, are you, um, are you who you say you are? Um, because you're a hero in my book. <laughs> so there we are. So do tell us. Yes, very well, Scotty. That's very good to know. All right, mate. Hello, Brody. There we are. Now, uh, what have we got here? Up the SNP. Oh, yes, indeed. I think they've had a very, very good week at all. All the dafties are on saying, oh, they're not me. Oh, you'll be so poor if you leave. And, of course, they don't understand that Westminster gets very, very heavily subsidized by the Scottish cash cow. So never bite the hand that feeds you, folks. I'm back from Monday and early today, says Dream SMP. Uh, not S N S M. What are your thoughts on Corbyn? A thoroughly decent human being, shockingly treated by the British media, and um, he actually very nearly won the last election, but won. So there we are. So the election before the last one, Corbyn was just about in, and that's when the media panicked because all these billionaires thought, we're going to end up paying tax here, and we've just come out of the EU to avoid it. Come on. So there we are. Put any headlines at all to rubbish this very fine politician, and let's get our man in. And that's... What's happened, you know what I mean? And, of course, the electorate are a little bit slow on the uptake. They get worked very heavily from the back. Every day the Brexiteers worked every day from the back. Now we're facing economic annihilation, which, of course, will be blamed on COVID. And um, we're also facing um, 
political fragmentation of the United Kingdom. So Brexiteers are your separatists. So what countries have you been to? Well, I've told you that, Terry. We've done all that, aren't we? Uh, do black lives matter? All lives matter. Yes. And I think racism would disappear overnight if we stopped referring to it at all. So you just can't have it. It just doesn't exist. There's only one race, the human race. What are your pronouns? So there we are. My pronouns, uh, Ruby, that's very old-fashioned and a little bit rude, and I'm sure you don't mean it to be, but um, nobody does pronouns on Scotty McClue's TikTok. We do nouns. So I am Scotty McClue. Yes, you see? So we do nouns. That's what we do on here, but we're all inclusive. So there we go. Now then, yo, I'm from New Zealand. Josh, are you north or south island? Have you ever been to Coleraine in Northern Ireland? Yes, now I think it was Coleraine. I was driving through and there were signs up aimed at the Orange Lodge saying, March in Shame. Would that be right? Have I got that correct? Beautiful, beautiful country area. There we are. I'm back from earlier today and from Monday. Dream, lovely to have you with us. Follow us, guys, and can everybody share, 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 share. We need to get these figures up. Look, I'm going to level with you. I've got 11,800 followers. That should be 100,000. I've got 26,800 likes. That should be 260,000. So come on, let's get building. I mean, I'm sitting here talking to the most beautiful people in the world. And uh, the least you can do is make sure that you've actually followed. It's only a click. So there we go. And I think it's up in the top left-hand corner. And if you can click that, then uh, we can actually get the numbers moving a little bit. How old are you, Scotty? Sorry for firing so many questions. We don't know my age. I'm of an indeterminate age. I'm at least 28 in Earth years because I'm an Earthling, basically. But I'm also a time traveler. So I could be anything up to 2 million years old. Is that not fabulous? You fire as many questions as you like. You know what, Sir Scotty McClue sounds pretty good. You're the one who would deserve this title. Sir, you have your title. And if you are not the man himself, and you must tell me if you are, if you're not the man himself, then you're obviously a huge supporter. And uh, he's obviously an amazing man. So there we have it. Lovely, and I send love to Slovenia. How are you today, Scotty? What dinky do? TTV trick shot. So that's fantastic. Now, what do we got here, guys? You only need to post something once. Good day, Scotty. Good evening, sir. Ted Zappa. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. Indeed, sir. Well said. Thank you, player. Do you speak French? No, je regret that je ne parle pas français très vite. Si tu parles autrement, peut-être je comprends oui. Et vous? Oui, qu'est-ce que vous désirez? Uh, there we are. Now, who have we got here? Hi, says Bikini. Bikini, what's the flag? I want to know the flag. Is it South Africa? No need to subsidize Westminster anymore. No, Blair. We'll be immediately about uh, another £50 billion pounds better off. Hi from Warren in uh, Gilmartin. Dinky do, Connor. Thank you very, very much indeed. My boyfriend is half Scottish. Which half? Right? Is it his top or his bottom? Aha, what? Corbyn nearly won, yes. If you look back, Ross, at the election results before the one that Boris got in, Corbyn was very, very close to victory. Very, very popular man. But, uh, of course, the Labour Party just eats itself alive from the inside out and people stop voting for it. They go, ah, forget that. <laughs> they say that mob can't fight an election because they're so busy fighting each other. That's what's going on there. Thoughts on the U.S. gas prices? Tell me more about them. I don't know enough about it. Are they shoving it up? Because gas used to be immensely cheap in the USA. The only thing, you only do about uh, 50 miles an hour, don't you? 
You know, I, I think, and, and big British cars, the old V12s, used to sell very well in America. I just want to say, I hope you have an amazing night, mate. Jamie, dear, what an absolute top man. Lovely to hear from you. And uh, Dinky Doo. How's things? A big hello from Glasgow, from Royston, and my home from Chapel. I know Royston, I know the Royston Road. Yes, when you're out there, fantastic, heading up towards Black Hill. And I know the drum very, very well indeed. I remember going to the drum to talk to the young people about trying to keep off drugs. So there we are. Big, big address to the young people of the drum from Scotty McClure. Tremendous. A legend speaking facts. I thank you, sir. Why are the Americans stockpiling fuel? Yes, good question, Scrag. Americans, why are you stockpiling fuel? Very well said again, sir. Jeez, Sir Wiz Scotty, you're a treasure trove of information. Ted Zapper, we have to be. Otherwise, why would you want to watch Scotty McClure? Man so posh, he sounds like an Englishman faking a Scots accent. Sure, thank you very, very much indeed. Yes. <laughs> I think maybe I'm a fake Englishman. <laughs> a fake Englishman using my own voice. What about that? Nothing posh about me, la la. Trump or Biden? Well, I think, I mean, they both have their merits, but let's face it, everybody was absolutely in fear of old Donald, what he was going to do next. You know what I mean? It wasn't really what I would have called presidential material, whereas Uncle Joe certainly is. Legend, dinky do. Follow us, guys. This is again. However, he lasted well. How long have you been live for? I saw you about six hours ago. Yep, we uh, popped up six hours ago and then we popped up, oh, about, I don't know, 25 minutes ago. Thoughts on the US gas prices? Well, we're trying to get more information for you. Why do you like the SNP? Well, I'm not political at all. I'm not a political animal. I don't support one party or another. If anything, I would like something a little bit more to the right of the SNP and make sure that the monarchy is absolutely 100% secured because I don't trust all the nationalists to know what they're doing. You know, there's one or two silly ones in there as well who are dreamers. And we need realists if we're going to go independent. But I do like the idea the SNP, um, until very recently, were the only party fighting for Scotland to come out of Westminster and away from the madness. So from that point of view, I can see a lot of merit. I also think Nicola Sturgeon has done an outstanding job with Scotland. Yes, there's one or two weaknesses, but you're going to get that. I mean, you look at what the Tories have done. Two hundred billion pounds down the Swanee for Brexit uh, for absolutely nothing to show for it, apart from economic annihilation and political fragmentation of the United Kingdom. So there you go. And that should never, ever have been allowed. Do you know that that referendum for uh, leaving the EU... It was a, a, a part of political stunt that just went horribly wrong. They were being watched from the back by billionaires who thought, if we pay one penny in tax, we are taking our money out your UK, I'll tell you that. And they thought, no, 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 we'll come out of Europe, we'll come out of Europe, we'll, 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 manage, to, we'll manage to fox the people, you know what I mean? And the dafties will vote for it, the, the um, xenophobes will vote for it, the Afghanists, yeah, we'll get you out, don't panic, don't panic. And of course, that was what was going on. So there we are. Now, uh, follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Good evening, McClue. Good evening, Stair. Are you back with us? Absolutely, there we are. We just had to mute you earlier. Do you like TikTok, Matthew? I love TikTok. If this grows as it should grow, and you guys all do your stuff, I might not go back on the radio. I might just stay with you here on TikTok and grow the stream the way we grew the radio stations for people. You know, it's a pleasure listening to you. I thank you, Ted Zappa. I mean, you've got to remember, Scotty McClue has made millions and millions of pounds for media barons over the years. I haven't made it for myself, unfortunately, but there we go, and it doesn't actually matter.
Uh, we stockpile because there was a cyber attack on fuel, and Biden said, not my problem. Oh, Uncle Joe. Right, Palmer, thank you for that. What's for dinner, Scottish men? I don't know. Uh, you'd have to ask people in your house. Shout out. No, no shout. Uh, now, guys, can you see MCB2700? Are you watching him? Right, now that's your classic we troll. So what we'll do, we'll block him. There it goes. Are you ready? After three. Three, two, one. Ray! MCB2700, away doing the swanny. Because that's not the kind of thing we want on TikTok's top talk show. Scotty, if it's okay, I'm going to go and watch Netflix. I don't want to miss anything here. Um, ITV Trickshot, don't you worry at all. I'll upload this to YouTube later for you. So if you look at the Scotty McClue YouTube channel, the link is just below my profile on TikTok right there. And you can get on there. Why don't you like vegetarians? I love vegetarians. The only thing is I think they contribute to greenhouse gases because they, they create more methane. You see? So that's the problem vegetarians. I mean, two of them were arguing the other day, and I went up to them and said, what's the beef? You know, what's for dinner? Oh, yes, we've done that one, what's for dinner. Very funny. People are very interested in food. <laughs> Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Uh, Esma Tebela says, hello, I am watching you from South Africa. Hello to the other world. We love you, Esma Tebela, in South Africa. Are you throwing something on the bray? Hi, how are you? I'm very well, like, lovely to have you with us. Now, uh, Stan, that's your personal life. The rest of us aren't interested. What's your favorite part of UK history and the most despised one? Milank, I don't despise anything. I've only met one very, 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 very bad man who took my life savings in a business thing. And that's the only bad person I've ever met. And I understand that obviously he was very damaged and had needs, you know. So that was that. There's the wonderful Maria Knight. This woman, this lady is just so generous. She has given me fortunes and she's cheered me up no end. An absolute princess, and she's so generous. Just Maria, thank you. Every single night, Maria comes on. Milank, uh, so UK history, all of it. Every last bit of it, even the gory details. And I don't despise any of it, to be honest. Apart from, we could have done without the union between Scotland and England taking place politically. 1707. Could have done without that. Uh, here's Dreams says, I am bisexual. Do you accept? It's not up to me to accept Dreams. Everybody's welcome on here. Nobody gives two about your sexual proclivities as long as they are uh, legal and decent Nobody's bothered one way or the other. And you certainly do not need permission from the World Stop broadcaster to fancy uh, ladies and gentlemen. You're a time traveler. I am Joker Claus. Yes, indeed. Maria, thank you so much for that. Such a wonderful, wonderful person. Have you views on the current Palestine-Israel conflict? Yes, I certainly have. As usual, the British were very poor at leaving places. They're very good at taking over and colonizing, but very poor at leaving. And that includes India, Aden, Africa, Palestine, you know. See, the Middle East was effectively, people won't believe me when I tell them, but countries get bought and sold. And Britain actually sold the Middle East to America and a check exchanged hands. Uh, so there you go. And of course, you had the, the Balfour Declaration because the British were huge in Palestine. You know, and um, although Jesus was Jewish and still he started his own religion, um, Jesus was a Palestinian, you know. No doubt about it. And we have to look at all that. 20% of the population of Jerusalem, 
you know, uh, they um, they are Palestinian Arabs. You see, you have Christian Arabs out in the Middle East, and it's such a beautiful land. They need to stop fighting and recognize that the other people are human beings, human beings. And it doesn't matter what anybody's race, color, religion, creed, sexual orientation, it just doesn't matter. They are human beings with their strengths and their weaknesses. And from what I hear, you know, I mean, I know a lot of Israelis, lovely, lovely people. The Palestinians are very, very beautiful people. And little children should not be losing their lives, blown to kingdom come by indiscriminate use of ordinance, when there's no need to be using ordinance at all. The politicians need to get their act together because an outbreak of violence is when politics have failed. So hang your heads in shame, politicians. Phone your uh, oppos up. Get round the table and stop killing the children. Um, are you rich? Uh, I am pro probably the richest man in the world. As I say, the very, 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 very bad man uh, took my life savings. Um, but... Um, I just don't have any money, but I'm very, very rich. I mean, look at the quality of people I'm talking to right now. Scottish people are amazing. All people are amazing, Mega Mac. I can tell you that. There we are. Cheers, absolutely. The Numptyhead is back. Professor Numptyhead, how lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do to you. <laughs> Hi from Diplodocus from Essex. Duplicitous, did you say? Oh, no, Diplodocus, that's your name. In Essex. We love you, Essex people. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. So there we go. Blair, stop being silly. Grow up time. Scotty, how have you been doing? I love your daily pop-ups. Thank you so much. Aaron, it's a privilege to be talking to the people of the caliber I'm talking to on here. It's just, I'm absolutely blown away with it. It's tremendous. You know, apart from the wee dafties, the wee trolls who aren't mature enough to handle the stream, the caliber of people that are joining me on here is outstanding. Outstanding. The words Palestine and Israel give me massive headaches these days. We well, see, Yohar, uh, if you look back at the history of the Argyles, the Scottish regiment, the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders, one of the finest Scottish regiments ever. Uh, they're the ones with the little um, Shetland pony, Kruachan, as their mascot. Yes, wonderful regiment, the Argyles. And they've had many great commanding officers. But one of their greatest commanding officers in their history was Lieutenant Colonel Colin Campbell Mitchell, uh, known during the Aden conflict in 1967-68 as Mad Mitch because he regained the territory for Britain. And then the Labour government let the army down very, very badly, actually, by just handing everything back and getting out. Now, Aden was an excellent base, and now the conflict still goes on in the Yemen and in South Yemen. You know, there's all that fighting still going on. Now, uh, before Aden, yes, in the 1940s, Colin Mitchell was in Palestine and he was in Jerusalem when the King David Hotel was bombed and he got wounded in it. You know, incredible. Yes, there we are. Got ointment for the Duke of Argyles. Yes, a skin bob. You need to watch yourself on there. I remember seeing a gentleman in the chemist, and he said to the chemist, the chemist said, can I help you? He said, yes, do you have any talcum powder? He said, if you just walk this way, sir. He said, if I could walk that way, I wouldn't be needing the talcum powder. <laughs> yeah, hey, history, I love history. Yeah, I think that was 19... 48, so just after the Second World War, just when the state of Israel was being established, yes, and you had the exodus, 
Hello there, mate. Hello, dinky do. Hi, Scotty. Scottish. Lovely to have you with us, and a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's pop-up. We are, of course, live, big style, on the big one, on TikTok. Have you heard my last name, Creefield? No, that's a new one in me. Uh, so there we are. John Rambo says, hi from New York. Dinky do Rocky in New York. Have you ever had any pets, Scotty? Uh, dogs all my life. And I stayed with a lovely person who had cats. So there you are. So terriers and Labradors. Goldfish, hamsters. Very big on hamsters. Yes, I had a wee hamster who was just a pure escapologist. Drew says, thoughts on the parachute regiment? Well, my father was a member of the parachute regiment. So obviously, um, you know, I, uh, I know a lot about it. I used to be friendly with one of the commanding officers of, uh, of Para 1. So there you go. Uh, British and Irish lines or South Africa for the series win? Ooh, we don't know. Hail, hail, says Celtic. Uh, Celtic era says hail, hail. No, well, we've had quite a lot of rain, and we have had a bit of hail, hail, but uh, we even had a wee bit of snow last week. Can I please get a hello from my favourite guy in the app? Lucas, of course you can. My dad was one para. Absolutely true. Yes, indeed. No apologies. I'm on the parachutes. Uh, no, I think the whole thing about putting soldiers in the dock, and I know that one's finished for now, and an apology due absolutely, but, but you've got to remember the soldiers are sent in to do that work by the politicians, yeah? And the politicians don't always understand the military. And that's why Nikita Khrushchev, as the president of Russia, uh, he, uh, he had to lecture, in a very friendly way, a young John F. Kennedy about never mobilize your military young men because you'll find them very hard to stop. And the danger is the military are so good at what they do that uh, the politicians need to be thinking. Uh, I'm going to go now. It was nice listening to you. Hello again. Hello there. Thank you very much, Mega Mac. You take care and dinky do. Hello again, Morgan. You trick apparatus, absolutely. He who goes to heaven must mount on Pegasus, must ride. <laughs> Something like that. I have to remember. I mean, what are you seeing there if I go that way? Can you see something? A wee reveal? How amazing is that? How's your day been, dinky do? I see everybody. What do you think about South Africa? Well, we've been having lots of conversations on here in the last few days. And I think I might come and live with you in South Africa. There we are. Who's your favorite Formula One driver? Oh, it's difficult to say. Um, I, uh, I'll tell you who I was very fond of. Jackie Stewart and um, Sterling Moss and uh, Jim Clark. I can remember Jim Clark. We were so sad in school as little ones when we heard Jim Clark had died. Unique Paratas means ready for anything. The Paras adopted the motto. I know that, Drew. I know it very, very well. Now, notification. I can give you a lifetime ban. Or you could grow up. What do we think? Guys, read notification and see if we should give them a lifetime ban. Thoughts on ketchup? Well, I'm trying to catch up as fast as I can. Ginger, thank you for giving us so many beautiful red roses. Maria Knight, thank you so much for your kindness, Maria. Nothing goes unnoticed, Maria. Man looketh on the outside, God looketh on the heart. You from Scotland? I think I might be. Yes, indeed. Free Israel and free Palestine. Yes. My guy, your hat is nice. I thank you, Ricky. It's my favorite hat. The police stopped me the other night and said, has your hat been checked? <laughs> Only teasing. There we are. Guys, we need you to follow. Whereabouts in Scotland are you from? If you don't mind me asking, I don't mind you asking at all, Big Danny. I'm uh, from the West Coast. 
But I've lived everywhere in Scotland, all over the place. Guys, I need followers on here. I can't believe that you're not following. It's only a click. I mean, I know you've probably got a sort of anathema about following people on the internet. Oh, I'm not following them. Not following them. But make an exception for Scotty McClure with TikTok's Top Talk Show. Come on now. You're rocking with the Peaky Blinders. The Peaky Blinders. Are... Where are you all? Where are... Oh! oh, yes, there you are. Fantastic. Can I get a Glasgow shout out to my mate Nathan? You can Lee. Uh, Hamas on the border of Palestine uh, might be the issue due to the conflict. Well, they need to chuck it, Drew. You know, the whole lot of them need to chuck it. The Israelis and the Palestinians, they need to be told, listen, this is your brother who will do you no harm if we all agree to some decent treatment. Let all the food and the medicines and the money pour into Palestine, you know? And also, I think the big countries should step in if it gets out of hand, you know? Get America in there saying, right, this stops now. Now, do you hear me? That's what, that's what they need to do. Uncle Joe, get in there. You've never lived in Bells Hill. How do you know that, Scottish Bam? I know Bells Hill like the back of my hand. There we are. Dinky, look at what's going on here, Maria. What have you just sent? A beautiful, beautiful carousel. There we are. What's your job like? Uh, a, a builder. Oh, I do all sorts of things. That hat looks good on you. I thank you, Hannah. It's one of my favorites, this, you know. A favorite hat of Scotty McClure's. Ciao, ciao, Mitan. Thank you for joining us. Ciao, see. Si. Bella, bella, bellissimo. Bravo, bravo, bravissimo. Have you been to Gdansk? No, but I must come to Gdansk. I remember the wonderful um, Lech Valencia. Yes, uh, from the Gdansk shipyard. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. It's not much to ask. Just follow. There we go. Uh, you just need a good old Scottish pretty to sort it out. Absolutely. I have a distant family from Ireland because I'm from Poland. Uh, Kasper. Kasper. Lovely to have you with us from Poland. So there we go. Now, who have you got here? You saw her immaculate. The one from Scotland is back. Thank you, Mr. Bag. Favorite part of military history? Well, it's interesting. So much of it. There's incredible things. You know, I mean, I would have done Culloden slightly differently, I think. Um, I think the Argyles going into Eden, the Argyles in Palestine. You know, very, very interesting. My grandfather fought on horseback at Gallipoli. You can speak Polish? No, I can't speak Polish. I'm so sorry. But I am Pan, Pan McClue. Yeah, and I, I uh, love Pan Paderowski. So there we go. Mr. Bag, yes, Mr. Bag on there. Welcome, Mr. Bag. So there are any more of your nonsense and you'll get the bag. Alison Dinky Doo, do you have any kids or grandkids? Oof. Don't don't go there in case she's listening to I mean Loch Lomond uh, the best in the West, I can. Uh, I can't do sweary words. No, no sweary words allowed on here. My favorite part is Operation Market Garden. The Airborne and Cavalry Technology. My father was in it, Drew, and he defended the bridge at Nijmegen. He was the radio operator, and he set it up. He was also dropped into Holland, and, and um, he was dropped into, sorry, I beg your pardon, to um, Norway in 1944 as one of the liberators. So they had skiing paras, and we were watching Heroes of Telemark one Sunday afternoon with Kit Douglas, and he was explaining to me, and I thought, I am watching this movie with somebody who was actually there. 
Woo! I mean, absolutely incredible. He was there and he was such a humble man. You had to really draw any information out of him. Incredible. Thank you, do. Love you all. Thank you so much. Scott, what's the Scottish dish is the best? Mince and tatties. You can't beat it with some carrots. <laughs> we bit of onion in the mince. Uh, and we go, I had spinach the other night. Yeah, get the spinach. Apparently it's very good for your eyes, for your eyesight. So there we are. Right, I'm going to have to push off, guys. Um, will I give you a tune on the uh, squeeze box before I go? Yeah, tune on the squeeze box. Here we go. We tune on the squeeze box. Right, are we ready? Okay, okay. Tune on the squeeze box for you. <laughs> Just going to dash off now, do a bit more practice. Scotty, I'm here to get your opinions. Hazard, my opinions. You would love them. We've just done about an hour of them. Brilliant. Scott, thank you so much. Going to dash, guys. Take great care of your dear selves. Stay fabulous. Stay safe. Love being you because it's a great thing to be. It's a damn disgrace. I was out of tune. Professor Numpty Heat, you get that wax out your ears. There we are. That was perfect pitch, I see. Thank you, do. God bless Scotty. Good night. Thanks, Drew. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain. Au revoir. And a cheerio. ta -ra, my lads. Take great care of yourself. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to every one of you. Good night and God bless. Thank you, Disco Pete. Very, very much appreciated. You're an absolute top man. 